We Like Dota is brought to you by our generous patrons. Find out how to help support the show at welikedota.com and follow the links to the Patreon. We Like Dota, episode 49, starts now. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to We Like Dota. This is We Like Dota, the Internet's casual Dota 2 podcast. I'm Brian Sabone Yinger, and joining me on this wonderful evening is none other than Jared Clyde Frog Petterson. <laughs> How's hey, it going, Brian. Jared? What's wrong? How's it going today? Jared's manning the soundboard. I am. And, uh, I, I, my finger slipped a little bit, so that was a, a that, little abrupt. That was a great fade out, Jared. Yeah, absolutely. I was trying. Uh, also joining us this evening is Ben Yadneb Day. Hello. How are you, Brian? I'm just great. How are you, Ben? I'm, I'm okay. You're a little tightly wound this evening. A little saucy. Maybe saucy? I might be a little saucy. He's a little saucy, yeah. A little saucy. You yeah. are about uh, eh, about a good 85% way through a uh, Great Lakes Brewing Company Christmas ale. A wonderful crafted beer. Yeah, it's all right. They're very, they're very popular around here. They're, I guess uh, I should say yeah. that. They're very well, popular because, one, they're super boozy. I think that's one of the reasons. Yeah, the this seven is, five. There tends to be a, yeah. a, a. It's a supply and demand thing too, because they tend to have somewhat of a, at least in this area, a there's, short there's a little bit of a shortage around trying to find them. Sometimes you can practically use it as a bartering currency. In this area, yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's true. I think it's overrated. It's good, but it's overrated. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. But it was free to me. Well, hey. and that's the best type of Christmas. Thing. That's the best type of any booze, really. Yeah, yeah. Most it's not too bad. It's a little punchy in the face with Christmas, though. It's like getting N- nutmeg thrown down your throat. <laughs> right. Well, exactly. but we don't have the, you know, if you go to a bar and get it, they've got the cinnamon rim and everything. Oh, that's yeah. Like that's just way too much. Yeah. That's just way it's, too much. Uh, There's too much Christmas in the glass there. Yes. Christmas in the glass. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Let's get started with the show, as we always do, sure, with, uh, with Who'd You Play? We have bumpers now. Yes. Good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Senior executive producer Cheeks of Flappin made those. Uh, Chief senior executive producer. Okay, he's been upgraded. Self-proclaimed. We're not sure where he is, by the way. So if he joins us mid-show. Let's hope he does. uh, I hope he's all right. We'll we'll, we'll get him in here. Uh, That was was a nice bumper. That was great. Yeah. Yeah, There's more. His wife hates Witch Doctor, by the way. Which is why he's using it. I assume that's why he picked Witch Doctor. Okay, that's very good. Yeah. I support this. (laughs) Uh, ben, we're going to start with you. Who'd you play this week? Uh, I played quite a bit this week, actually. So I played yeah, some, you did. some Juggernaut, some uh, some OD, mm. some Weaver, and I don't know if I want to mention it, but played a game as Omni Knight. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, yeah, so there's a little let's, bit let's, of a let's story start there. time Let's here. start there. So we... <laughs> This is the first match of the night that we played Friday night. We were really excited because Jared doesn't always get a ton of free time to play. Right. Yeah. So uh, I had a had an opportunity to play uh, a couple games on Friday night. We, did, we, we did some ranked We Yeah, the three of us went and did some ranked uh, matchmaking. Yeah. And so uh, we're doing the all pick you know, thing where well, you're going through. And we didn't just do that. We strategized. We had a plan. Absolutely. We yeah. had a plan going in. And yeah, so it was just gonna. It was really good. Ben was last picking, and uh, we were like, "Okay, we need a ranged carry, um, somebody that just can tank a little bit." So how about how about you go Viper? And you ended up. <laughs> I fat fingered. Yeah, you fat fingered Omni Knight. I fat, I fat fingered the hero pick, <laughs> which is pretty. Uh, I'm not sure. Like Omni Knight can't even carry. He has no, no carry potential. And then you guys just. Called me out in the middle of chat with these two random people on our team. Yeah. Which oh, I, God, we, yeah. Well deserved. Yeah, we flamed you hard for that. But I think I we, reported and that you. We, we didn't really even have any. You think you reported me. We didn't really even have any carries on our team. So you guys are really relying on me. And I think we told them, Yadneb's going to pick the hard carry. Don't worry. Don't pick a hard carry. Yadneb's got it. Yep. We're going to do a tri lane. Yep. It's going to be great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All these things. And uh, your stats wound up pretty poor. The, uh, yeah. the Crystal Maiden out farmed you, Ben. But what happened with the game? Oh, we won. We, we won, won the game. We won, yeah. We won the game with Carry Omni Knight. Which so great. 
if that's if you're gonna fat finger a hero pick, there's fewer heroes you'd want other than Omni. That's what we decided. We decided yeah. at least yeah. he, he goes late. To the table. He goes late. Yeah, he doesn't do a ton with farm, but he can do some stuff with farm. Yeah, I didn't get much farm. I did. I did go through um, the river one time because I was playing a Nyx assassin this game. Yeah, and uh, I was vendetted up and running through the river looking for somebody, and I I heard you. Um, Farming in the jungle with Omni Knight. Yeah, I did some jungle farming. <laughs> you had a decent amount terrible. of last hits. I've had, never played Omni Knight, really. You so had 94 know. last hits, Ben, which is great. Yeah, well, that's, that's that was impressive. my job. Yeah. I mean, we had we had Crystal Maiden, Cent- Centaur, Omni Knight, Silencer, and Nyx. Here's the thing that I didn't understand, is we chose between the Silencer and the Omni Knight to have the Omni Farm. I think that was your decision. No, we didn't make a decision. Jared said, just do whatever. And then I said, you, you made this mess. You guys figure it out. I think it was my exact word. Well, because I, you just started farming. As well, you nobody should. else was farming. I was. You weren't farming. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> I was trying to get the last hits. And you're just like, oh, I'm Omni Knight. Be healed. Well, long story short, it ended up working out, but we barely. Won yeah, barely. Barely won the game. <laughs> Because, because it was a lot of fun. Our centaur war runner and Jared was, was on Nick's assassin. Yeah, they, were, they were great, and it was great. It was, it was, yeah. You guys did a hell of a job on that. That yeah. was the where we were uh, going against the OD, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And a uh, venomancer that had ags and a butterfly. <laughs> yeah, that was right. weird. Yeah, but yeah, it, we won. Uh, other than that, I played a board game called Ticket to Ride with you guys. Oh, you yeah. destroyed us! And in I that. destroyed you in, in yeah. that. So I was winning all the way up right until the end when you when you tally up the points. Yeah, but the part that actually matters. The part that matters. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you you made some long long roads with trains or train tracks. The routes. Train. The routes. Whatever. The routes. Long routes. But then, uh, yeah. Long routes. Yeah, that's who I mm-hmm. played. That's yeah. that's what I got. Okay. Um, but yeah, then I guess transitioning to me, Nyx Assassin. I played some Nyx Assassin. It, went, it went well. I was impressed. Yeah. And then I think uh, Juggernaut, Bane. Let's see who else was it. It was Bane, Juggernaut. Oh, then an Undying. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did we yeah. did we win that match? Yeah, I think yeah, we won yeah, the yeah. Undying match. That was the one I played Viper on. Yeah. That yeah. was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. But yeah. yeah. Speaking of winning, we've been doing pretty well in 2015. So uh, yeah, everybody has a winning record in, yeah. in, our little, that, in our little group here. Which is abnormal for us. Wait, we do? Yeah. 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 Everyone does. I'm five Everyone. and one. He's three and two. Three and two. You're yeah, I'm five and two. Five and two. Cheeks and Cheeks is like seven, seven and one. Seven and one. That's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, 2015 right. shaping up to be yeah. the year of the uh, We Like Dota crew. To be moderate instead of awful. yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's what we hope for. Is is uh, moderate. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're working our way out of mediocrity into uh, into competitive into okay competitive crappiness. Right, which is a step up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think that's our goal. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about goals later. Yeah. Brian, who'd you play? Uh, Jared, did you play anybody else? No, that's, that's pretty much all I got. Yeah. I played some Bristleback. I played uh, yeah. a. I don't think it was solo off lane. It was a dual lane with a, a Bristleback dual lane. I don't know what it is about that hero, but I just get him. Totally. I, I, no, know, I understand. I don't know what's going on there, but it's, he's a fun one. There are certain heroes that you like just, you get. Yeah. You, yeah, I think that's true. Yeah, it just well, it's seems like, like there's a certain element of it doesn't matter how good or bad a hero is. It's just something. Everybody's just got gels. that. Yeah. It just gels. I feel like, that. Brian, you're that way with uh, Death Prophet as well. Yeah, and I don't play her very often. No. It just kind of works. Yeah. So. And then, uh, Ben, I know that your OD is like that, though. You think? Yeah. Where yeah. it just. Yeah. I've seen you just do things that you shouldn't don't make really, any yeah, sense. normally normally don't work. I would work. not be able to do that. <laughs> yeah. Like I push buttons that I wouldn't normally be able to push. And Jared, right. you do that with Centaur, I think. Centaur, mm-hmm. Bane. My and, Bane's pretty good. And Nyx Assassin. I like you on Bane. Yeah. Yeah, that Nyx was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty freaking good. That Nyx was pretty good. We had yeah. some fun matches this week. It was good good time to play some Dota. Yeah. Start uh, the new Jared year. Jared and I had it a match. It is the year of the RAM. <laughs> it is. Jared and I had a match where we. Uh, I have no idea what that means. Was it the three of us with with that specter that like rushed oh, type of insight? No, I think that was just me and you. That was but just yeah. you too. Yeah. Oh, you played Carrie Juggernaut, and I was on <laughs> Crystal Maiden. <laughs> yeah. And this guy went like casual, casual everything until about forty minutes in. Well, he we picked up. A, we were a playing pipe. Zeus. We were playing Zeus, and as soon as we started, he says, "Guys, get your hood. Everybody needs needs your cloak. Ugh. We're playing. We're playing." Against, playing Zeus against the Zeus you were well, yeah and I understand that which but is true it's, it's a game to build pipe it is but absolutely. on a support yeah or or a number three yeah not somebody that 
he was basically the only damage that was on our team aside from Juggernaut. Which yeah, you got to get that carry going. I was trying. I was trying, but man. Mm-hmm. We just got out carried. This is really tasty. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, we did have a great... We had some success with the tri-lane, too. Yeah. Yeah, that we doesn't did. happen very often. Oh, God, we had a great... Yeah, we, we freaking should have won that game. We owned our tri-lane. So, well, what okay. happened yeah, is so we did Brian, a, tell us the story here. Okay, so we have in the off lane of Nature's Prophet, mid lane Razor. was Razor, which that's a pretty good lane. And then we did a tri-lane with Bane, Marana, and Juggernaut, and we got like six kills. It was ridiculous. Yeah, we got... I, I know we got the first four the first in the four game. Or five, the yeah. first four kills in the game. Yeah. But what happened is they did a... The other team did a level one Roshan. Right. Before the horn. That's where we fell behind. Which is what we've done in the past <laughs> and have lost. Against, yeah. Lost. We we did that and lost. It's because we don't know what we're doing. But we almost won the game that we lost. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, but we lost pretty freaking hard this game. Yeah. This game we did. Yeah. But the tri lane went well, which is... A, that's a victory for us. Yeah. I think, I think in retrospect, we had a, an Ursa who... I think probably had free farm against that Nietzsche's profit, which shouldn't necessarily be the case. So I yeah. think we should have. I think we should have done a rotation. Probably. I think our Nietzsche's profit wasn't that good. I, I don't think he I was. Think he was which is bad. fine. Which is fine. It was fine. He wasn't mean about it. He was just no, awful. no, no. He was very good to play play with. Just awful. Except for the actual gameplay. Yeah, you know that's fine. <laughs> which we're kind of hypocritical for doing. Yeah, we're you know, still people out on that. We're still real God, bad. Yeah, we're bad. We're still real bad. Yeah. Um, it's okay though. So we need to have um, players in our team that carry us. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. What we we're didn't have for. that, but uh, we are at the point where it's much more fun to play with people we know. Yeah, than no, I definitely to play with, with random folks. We're definitely at that point. I am starting to notice how different the game is, solo play versus like yeah. party play. Oh yeah, where you have it's like hundred percent different, four or five stack. Yeah, because in solo play, it's I swear to God, it's just like you got to watch out for yourself. Yeah, you got to watch out for yourself, but, but at that the doesn't same make a time, difference. Like it's you, not enough. You almost just have to cling to the least stupid people on your team, <laughs> or the most stupid, and hope they don't do anything too stupid. Oh, if someone's stupid, you let them die. Is, is that you the, let you is let that them the solution? Yeah, you let them. Yeah, you let them feed away. Let them go. I don't you, know because I think you can don't feed, try to save them. You flame them to the point where you hope they disconnect. Well, that's you, the best thing well, that can happen for your team. Either a DC or <laughs> AFK jungle. Go to the jungle. Yeah. That One would or the be other. As well. I think you should get some jungle farm. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Go hide in the jungle. Go. Yeah. Go just, yeah. Just keep telling the just guard the ancients. Yeah. Can Can you stack those for me? Keep stacking. Just Just, just stay stack. there for a minute yeah. and stack stack them for me. I think that's we need to give other missions to these people. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. What's really frustrating too is you see people picking just really dumb lanes. Oh yeah. Right. Like really stupid lanes. Like a spirit breaker and a blood seeker. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, guys, this is dumb. We need to we need to figure something else out. And they just don't do anything. Or one of my favorites of all times was a Pudge and Spirit Breaker that we saw leaning together. Oh. <laughs> Seems like it was Really? Yeah. Oh. That's uh well I had laned in the mid <laughs> lane pretty good. Viper against Pudge. Yeah, that's right. Viper didn't get a single single creep score in. No, you mean Pudge didn't. Pudge didn't. What did I say? You said Viper. Oh, I that, got yeah, we I were, got many. Yeah, that was yeah. the last game that we played. Um Pudge just does not lane well at all. He doesn't no. lane well. He doesn't team fight well. It's not his thing. He can gank. That's his thing. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this this it was like a 40, 45 minute game, something like that. And the Pudge had twenty five last hits the entire uh, game. It was thirty three minutes. Okay. Thirty three yeah. minutes. Yeah. And he ended up with twenty five last hits. Yeah. Not good. No. All right. It was terrible. Uh, what do you guys say we move on to the news? Sure. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Again with the witch doctor. Yes. Yeah, we've got a uh, we've got bumpers. How uh, how many weeks are we going to acknowledge the bumpers? I this is the first I've been here for the bumpers. Is it? Yeah. So you didn't Yeah, this is only week 2 of the bumpers. You didn't guys. listen to last week. I never listened to the show. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. No, it's fine. I actually, no, I tried. I actually tried because I was driving home. Oh, and I couldn't because we're available in. Podcast. I didn't want to crash. We're available in podcast form as Not well. Not live because it was when you were live. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, have you heard of the Dota Dota Two Asia Championships? I have. Barely. Kind the of. Only, I know it's a thing. The <laughs> only reason I've heard of this is because there's a compendium on sale. That's kind of a big deal, apparently. Yeah, it's over a million dollars, man. The prize pool, yeah, is now over a million dollars. And uh, they're basically doing a compendium 
very similarly to the TI4 compendium. Well, it's becoming a thing across the board. It seems like most tournaments, at least you know, high-profile tournaments, are doing that. Yeah. The compendium thing, which is nice that Valve added that. Yeah. That feature. Yeah, that's kind of a separate issue. Let's talk about that a little bit. Let's do that's that. That's something sure. that uh, you guys are familiar with, uh, the Ukrainian uh, Vilat. Vilat? Jared? Vilat, yes. Vilat. Uh, he made a big deal on Twitter, kind of a big hissy fit, to be honest with you, about uh, how Dota 2 has turned into a game of, I believe he called hat wanking. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting term. I have no problem with this, though, because I love hats. Yeah, I don't have a problem with well, it either. Well, what's his, I want to hear his argument. Basically, he was really upset that uh, every professional event, like you now, like to sell tickets in the game, you now have to have some sort of cosmetic item to go along with it. I think that's fine. Which is true. Yeah, I agree. And his argument was that you should, you should be buying them for the tournament itself or for the game, you know, to watch in game or, you know, something like that. And I, I can see his point. I understand his point. But there's so many tournaments out there now that you, I feel like you kind of have to do this now to differentiate yourself. Yeah, 100% agree with that. Yeah. I think it's good, though. I mean, I, have, I would have zero interest in this Asian Dota 2 tournament without their compendium. Yeah. But now I'm, I want to know more about what it's about because I saw that that was available. I saw that there's hats involved. And now I'm kind of curious. Okay, I, I've bought into the fact that I might buy a compendium for the hats. What's what's going on in the pro gaming scene here? Like, what, what yeah. who, who are the teams in it? What's at stake? I think it's interesting. Yeah, I think even just for, and it's also nice for the Dota TV access as well. You know, just oh, to, yeah. the ability to watch a professional match and just do like player perspective. Yeah, that's pretty is neat. Crazy. You can nice. learn a lot that way for yeah. sure. Yeah, just follow and support the whole time and figure yeah. out like what they're doing the whole time. It's yeah. really interesting, actually. I think it's great. It is, yeah. But yeah, I uh, I think it's ridiculous the notion that um, that we shouldn't have hats or items in the game because you know also you know like regular sports have you can buy a Cleveland Browns jacket and you know that kind of stuff. Sure. Yeah. Well, and whole, it's a free game. Well, <laughs> that's their whole model their whole model for sustainability is yeah. around hats yeah monetization so, I mean, you're really knocking the entire <laughs> nothing's changed since yeah. dota 2's come out that's yeah. how they've been making their money so i don't know i don't understand why he's upset about it. it's much better than in my opinion at least much better than league of legends where you have to actually buy the heroes or play a long time yeah to unlock the heroes they give you everything up front to play the game it's a very generous free-to-play game yeah that i uh what was i gonna say i don't even remember now i don't know uh, oh, it's a, I feel like it's a separate but related issue of like the, so with the release of, the, of, of items, the value of those have gone down. Yes. And there's more, it's easier to get items now. Well, you know, like with the was. TI, yeah. yeah, with the TI4 compendium, you got, you got like nine items with it or something right. like crazy like a ton, that. yeah. Well, depending on yeah, your yeah, reward yeah, yeah, levels yeah. and all that, but. You know, I think it's appropriate for, you know, some of these larger tournaments to have, you know, to incentivize users to buy stuff. You know, some of the smaller tournaments will just have, like, a courier or something or... Yeah, which is fine. Or nothing. Wards or yeah. a HUD or something. I think it's totally appropriate. Yeah, but anyway... Uh, who, who doesn't like free stuff? Like, he's saying... I don't know. I want to just buy a ticket. Well, and here's the thing, also. I mean, how much does it cost him Nothing. Like, does is are they paying to have something designed? Well, yeah, yeah, the, they the have, tournaments are. Yeah, they have yeah. to pay people to to design that stuff. But it's yeah. obviously worth it for them. I mean, if they're selling, oh yeah, twenty five percent more tickets than they would have, which I think it's probably at a least higher that, number yeah, than for that, sure. then it's a hundred percent worth it. For yeah, them to I do that. I wouldn't have bought the the packages. Sorry, <laughs> I wouldn't have bought the Dota two Asian championships compendium if it didn't come with stuff right i wouldn't either yeah, yeah it's just that's not, more money in their pocket yeah they're making money yeah. and I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it yeah i think i heard cheeks log on did he <laughs> oh yeah all right well yeah okay well hopefully just, he's uh, here at the end yeah got a nice uh, there we go uh better off now so yeah the dota 2 asia asia tournament asia championship uh the price pool the is DAC. over a million dollars uh the compendium is ten dollars much like the ti4 one mm -hmm. uh it features a bunch of Chinese teams, and then Team Secret and EG. Were the invited teams. Were the invited teams, correct. 
So I think the reason that these are happening is because the Chinese, uh, the Chinese Dota 2 servers are hosted by Perfect, Perfect World. World. Yeah. I think is the company. Of course that's Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, but some people are calling this TI 4.5. Yeah, and it kind of is, but I mean, again, it's it's what it is. I mean, there's just yeah. another tournament, another major tournament that has a big prize pool. So I mean, yeah, it's a Dota. It's what happens. Yeah, absolutely. All right, uh, next segment or next bit of news here: the D2L Land Finals start tomorrow at Caesar's Palace. Yeah, Brian. During the International uh, Consumer Electronics Show, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which is exciting. Uh, Featuring uh, Evil Geniuses, C Deck, LV Gaming, and Virtus Pro Polar. Yes, not only Virtus Pro Polar, but Virtus Pro Polar plus Demon. Oh, really? Demon's Demon standing in. Uh, Lil was un- unable to get uh, a visa to get into the U.S. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Demon, uh, the mercenary stand-in that he is. Is going to be uh, standing in for Virtus Pro Polar. Okay. So I'll be uh, I'll be pulling for yeah. VPP. VPP baby. Yeah. Interesting. Very excited about this. How many? How much uh, Dota Two lounge betting have you been doing recently? Um, not a ton because I. Uh, Did you lose a lot? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I ran. <laughs> I, I I ran ashore with my. Uh, <laughs> you my, had you had a, a huge stockpile. Yeah, and I got a lot back. Okay. I mean. I now have almost 700 Dota 2 hats. Oh, so you still have things you, have, you could wait, bet. Wait, hold I have, on. You have 700? Yeah, he's talking about a shortage. <laughs> but of things what? that I want to bet. Well, you like 700 different hats that you really like that much that you're not willing to risk? I you mean, can say yes, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, kind of. Okay. I mean, I have stuff that I would bet, but I'm not going to just like bet four commons on that, this, that's on like this seven, to win. That's like seven items per hero, Jared. Which is maybe a that's set impressive. per hero. That's impressive. I have, is, I have almost almost a full set for every hero now. Yeah. Which is that's what you want. That's fine. I can understand yeah. that. I like options. Did you have to buy I like to the, look good? Did you have to buy the armory extender? Uh, no, but I'm only on page thirteen of sixteen. Okay. Okay. You're almost so, there though. I'm you're almost get, there. You're getting there. I'm almost there. Uh, so you're gonna have to. Yeah, maybe. Jared, well, can if you I had, do, had another uh, run like I had? Can you do power rankings for us? Sure. What are the four again? EG, mm-hmm. C Deck, okay. uh, LV Gaming, and VPP. Mm. It's going to be interesting. I haven't I haven't seen LV much since they ran into this uh, into the, this qualifier for D two L because the qualifiers were almost two months ago. Well, LV Gaming kind of came in as the underdogs. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to put them fourth, just because I haven't seen yeah. them too much recently. Yeah. Honestly, then, I'm going to put EG next, just because of the changes in the roster. Which we'll get to later. Yeah, and I'm not quite sure how that'll pan out. I think it will be good, but considering this is not only their first um, real experience playing together as a team in a tournament, it's yeah. a LAN that makes it even more difficult at times. Right. Or it could be easier. I don't know. Yeah. But this will be uh, one of the uh, players, their very first LAN experience, so... Might be interesting. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. And then honestly, I'll probably put VPP next. Okay. Again, with a stand in, it can be a little dicey. Yeah. But uh, it's going to be interesting whether they have Demon actually play support well, or not. Well, De- he's basically doing what he did last year. Yeah. He put. Pl- he's stood throwing. In- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. a little bit. <laughs> he, uh, he stood in for Fnatic last year. And if you remember, Fnatic lost their very first two games of the D2L finals. Yeah. The land finals. And then went on to get second place yeah but yeah they they played really well they played one hell of a tournament there it was a lot of fun to watch yeah. so hopefully he repeats that so hopefully they let him play carry i don't know if they will or not we'll because they it. have i mean who's their mid player i think it's resolution i have no idea sure. anyway we'll go yeah. with resolution <laughs> yeah not sure but uh then obviously it put deck at the top yeah They've which C deck is kind of a they broke off from LGD. LGD. They were dropped by LGD. Yeah. And now they're... Just C-Deck. They're a really good team. Hmm. Anywho, uh, as we alluded to earlier, uh, there's been some roster changes as of late. The mm-hmm. rumored and over-dramatized Western <laughs> Shuffle has occurred yeah, been and a lot going on. is currently occurring. 
Yeah. So it begins with evil geniuses. Arteezy and Zai are going to Team Secret. This I I did not see coming, honestly. I didn't either. I This was a little blindsiding. Yeah. I, I think it'll work out well. I th- I think they're both really good players, obviously. Yeah. I'm not sure how they'll fit in with Secret. I would assume that'll mean S4 is moving to the off lane. No, I don't think so. I think he'll stay mid. Really? So where do you think that'll put Arteezy? Arteezy, I think, will end up playing carry. I think he, he and S4 will end up switching depending based on hero playing mid and carry, but I think they'll... So what about Kuroki? What's Kuroki going to do? I think he goes back to support. But that was part of the reason why he left Na'Vi. But here's the thing. He and Puppy, they're like best friends. That's true. And their support duo... It's really good. It won tournaments. Yeah. So it's a little different situation, huh? Yeah. So I think that, that yeah. ends up putting Zai into the offlane. Okay. Interesting. I would like to see... I Frick. You've Ow. been doing that all night, Jared. Uh, <laughs> it would be interesting to see the Zai and Puppy support duo. Yeah, but I don't think Zai wants to play support anymore. <laughs> well, he never really... I mean, he played support, but like... Yeah, exactly. He plays support like like I do, like where you're like, eh, <laughs> I just kind of want to play core. I'm just, that is how you play support. Yeah, I I time. would rather play core. So yeah. that's I'm picking a support, but mm, <laughs> I'm really that's, a that's core. Yeah, no, that's, that's true. true. Yeah. That's true. So where so. does this put uh, Team Secret? Are they a force to be reckoned with now? I think it'll depend. Uh, I don't know. I think it'll take a little time to gel, but I think honestly, this lineup makes more sense than what they had. Okay. So who's who's off, who got kicked out? Uh, Big Daddy No Tail. No Tail, and who else? Oh, Pie Cat. Pie Cat, okay. From Secret? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was Pie Cat on Secret? No, 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 no. Uh, who, is the, who is that other one? I always get these two teams oh, mixed uh, up. Fly. Uh, Fly. Yeah. yeah, Simba. Simba, yep. Simba Fly. Sim- Simba. Simba. Yes. So, and with that, uh, AUI 2000 is going to EG, and also some sort of... Pub star named Samel. 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 Has he played with any teams at all? No, really. So I mean, obviously, probably he's, five sacks and stuff. But I would I, assume he's like an NA Dota Elite League. I think it's like fifteen guy. too. He's oh, he's really young. He's pretty young. Really? How's well, this gonna work? Well, out Zai's like with thirteen or something. See, huh? Zai's I think sixteen. Okay, sixteen. Okay, sixteen's about. That's getting kind of old. In, yeah, too. <laughs> it is. It yeah. is. He's, so, he's he's past his prime. Is this is this a move of desperation, or do they think they found a diamond in the rough? What do you think's going on here? I think Z- Arteezy and Zai wanted out. Okay, obviously, I mean, I think that's what the biggest thing was. They just I, wanted to change. I think that's why, why him as that, a replacement, though. Uh, because he's really good. Okay, I think and it's available. crazy. <laughs> that that. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I was wondering. It seems desperate. I think it's crazy that anyone anyone would want to leave the Evil Geniuses organization. I mean, I don't know how it's run uh, or whatever, but it seems like there's uh, like it's the most stable. I organization think also out there. I think there was some some stuff between those two, which were the youngest of the three, uh, or of all the five yeah. uh, people, and I think there was just a difference in maturity. Yeah, um, between PPD and Fear, as opposed to. Zion Arteezy. So it's good they got a 15 year old pub sense. star to come and join their team. <laughs> right. But here's the thing it's not Arteezy. Oh. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. once he gets a load of cash, things might change. You're just saying maybe it's not with all the baggage isn't there. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Okay. Yeah. I mean, these these kids were a little. I, I'm not, I don't know about Zai, but Arteezy was. Yeah. I mm-hmm. guess. I mean, if not yeah. all 15 year olds are the same maturity. Like, right. Yeah. There's some truth mm-hmm. to that. Yeah. And if you're 15 and listening to the show, you keep on doing what you're doing. Yeah, no doubt. All Be, right. Being 15, whatever that looks like. Yeah, but I'm very excited to see what Owie and PPD can do. Because these dudes... I am as well. They know the game. They know the now. game. Yeah. Like, if if they were to somehow get Bulba into that as well... Oh, gosh. That would be great. That would be nuts. Like, yeah. Well, and Fear knows the game really well, too. Well, yeah, he's played it since, you know, the inception. And so does Universe. He's really good as well. Yeah, he's great. He's fantastic. But yeah, no, I, I, think, I think that... It's going to be interesting to see how well they they their ideas mesh of the game. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting. Yeah. Some big shakeups for sure. Yeah. For sure. All right. And uh, the CS uh, Counter Strike Global Offensive based team Ninjas in Pajamas have picked up Lions. Right. A Swedish based. Swedish based organization. Wait, are we talking about Counter Strike? Oh, uh, they, they started a Dota 2 team. Oh, so the. And they picked up Lions. So it's called the Counter Strike Dota 2 team? 
What? The, I'm a little confused. No, okay. So there's a Counter Strike, Counter Strike team called Ninjas in Pajamas. Yeah. That organization picked up a Swedish base. They're, they're known for being Counter Strike. They just happen to have a Dota two team. They now have a Dota two team. Right. Okay. Yeah. Very I'm good. Following now. They did what Cloud Nine did. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So they're expanding their base of influence. Yeah. Gotcha. Their sphere of influence, if you will. Yeah. Sphere of influence. Right. Uh, okay. Let's move on to the hero of the week. <laughs> I still love the Meepo in there. So there's another bumper. Yeah. <laughs> it's another bumper. <laughs> All right. The hero of the week is Nick's Assassin. Nick's, 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 Nick's. I'd like to know what Jared thinks of Nick's Assassin. Yeah. I, I like him. Yeah. yeah. I like him I a lot. Do. I know I you like do. him a lot. So, Jared, I'm going to kind of lean on you for a little bit here. Sure. Yeah. Because uh, I've played two games on him. So yeah. I know him now. Well, well. <laughs> I believe what you said in the <laughs> two pre-show. Two successful games. I believe yeah. what you said in the pre-show was, I've got Nick's learned. I think I, think I know how he works. <laughs> you said, he, he was... Maybe cockier than that about it. He was like, I've got him figured out. Because we were like, yeah, you were like, I've got Nick's figured out. I need to find somebody else. Like, it's done. It is. All right, is, fine. Let's do this thing. Because we were talking Throw about. Throw it at me, baby. Isn't we, that kind of how he, that's how he did it. That's well, how it was framed. He's yeah. like, sure, I okay. got, I've got Nick's. It's down two games. <laughs> I, I owned in the two games. It should be all right. Yeah. That's good. Just, sure. Let's go. Let's go with it. Let's roll with it. <laughs> all right. Because we, were, we were talking about New Year's, Dota 2 New Year's resolutions. Spoiler alert. Which yeah. We'll get to those later. Uh, but yeah, okay. Anyway, Jared, yeah. let, tell me, uh, Nick's assassin. What's his role and what's what lane would you put him in here? Uh, and, and what's your MMR if you were only playing Nick's assassin? Oh, okay. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> my MMR on Nick's assassin would probably be higher than my actual MMR, which is I would believe that basement dwelling. Right. Basement <laughs> dwelling. <laughs> uh, but role, um, really, I think you use him as a ganker. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. I think that that his uh, his skills lend to that very well. With his ultimate being basically an invisibility that can't be broken until it until you attack. Yeah, and then you'd be under the uh, crap ton of bonus damage. So under the umbrella of uh, heroes, either being core or support, mm-hmm. he falls ca- directly in the middle of those. Where so do, neither. <laughs> where do you prioritize? Do you put him as a three for farm, or what do you think? Yeah, he can mid okay. Okay. Um, he can offlane pretty well because he has a really high base uh, regen for health. Okay. And pretty decent starting armor. Really? Um, what kind of health regen are we looking at? I here? think it's like two point five. Really? That's really high. That's yeah. really good. I mean, you can you can like look on be, the uh, can't possibly be true. No, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I think I think he does better. He needs a little bit of farm. Yeah. So I don't think running him as like a five position support would be beneficial to your team at all. Right. He could maybe re- deal with a support that is getting a little bit of priority. Uh huh. Um, you could maybe rotate him into some farm occasionally. Right. Yeah. Jared, yeah. where do I find health regen? Uh, are you on Dota Two Wiki? I am. Top right hand corner under the uh, portrait. That's where he's looking. It should say regen or something. I don't see anything. About it's really not that important. Here, I'll find it. His strength gain is two. <laughs> Perfect. That's helpful, Brian. Yeah. Brian, on here, go uh, search for table of hero attributes or just table attributes. You can put, put in the okay. this makes for search some good bar. listening here. Makes and, for some uh, good listening. And you can find it on that. But anyway, so yeah, I think <laughs> that that's the best way, honestly, to get him. Because really, he does need a little bit of farm priority because he doesn't really come online until you get um, into his level six. So he has to have a little bit of, fu- of uh, you know, a, little, yeah. a few levels and then... Really, if you can get a Dagon on him, that's where things start to get serious. Kind of nuking the heck out of people. Exactly. Huh? Like so, it gets real. It does. It does. Yeah. What What makes him, or or is he better? What makes him better than a Ricky or a Bounty Hunter, or different than mm-hmm. a Ricky or a Bounty Hunter? Uh, I think he does more damage than Bounty Hunter burst damage wise. Right. Um. Which is good. We like that. Yeah. He doesn't obviously give you the gold like what Track does. Sure. Um, as opposed to Ricky, I think it's just different. Okay. Um, Why would I pick him instead of Ricky? If, you have, if you're going against somebody that has a lot of intelligence base, 
I think that he is a great option. Okay. Um, we'll get into that in what we of course, talk about his skills. Of course, has to do with Yeah, exactly. Um, but if you're looking for something that needs like an AOE silence, obviously Ricky's going to be your choice. Yep. That smoke screen is legit. So you're, you're looking at silence versus essentially yeah. mana burn. Or, you're still or, looking yeah, to yeah. do the support Ricky. I, I think it could work. But I'm just saying, like if if those are if you're looking at two options, and if you want to have invisibility yeah. right away, yeah. then obviously a Ricky or a bounty hunter is look at what you're looking sure. for, as opposed to having to wait to level yeah. six. I for just a wanted mix. to know. Yeah, that's yeah. No, you, I, you answered my question. That was great. Yeah. So, so did you find that, Brian, offhand? I did not. Okay. It wasn't you had, on you the, had table. the table up. It wasn't on the table. No. Yeah, it was. Okay, great. <laughs> what are his abilities? All right, uh, his abilities. His Q is called Impale. It does magical uh, magical damage. Rock spikes burst from the earth along a straight path. Enemy units are hurled into the air, then are stunned and take damage when they fall. Cast range is 700. The spike radius is 125. The damage is 80, 140, 200, 260. That's legit. Yeah. Yeah. What was the stun duration? Stun duration at level 1 is 1.27, all the way up to a maximum of 2.77 at level okay. 4. And this thing, uh, it used to be, correct me if I'm wrong here, Jared, you used to be able to just click on somebody to cast this. It used to be targetable, correct. Now it, you kind of have to just kind of click on the ground to do it's it. It's a skill shot now as, as yeah. opposed to being targetable. Of, Which is probably why the hero. damage is so high. And yeah, stunners. and actually at full at level four for that, yeah. I believe the stun and damage is almost the exact same as a Tidehunter Ravage. Wow, okay. Yeah, that so it's be, a single target, close, but still. Well, not necessarily. Well, okay. It's a smaller area. Yeah, it's of a effect. small yeah. AOE, and it's yeah. on a twelve-second cooldown. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty impressive. So, I mean, the mana cost at level four is yeah. one fifty-five. Absolutely. So that's not too bad. Does he have? Does he have mana issues? A little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've I've I tried to not build a mana boot on him, <laughs> and it was rough. Okay. Um, but yeah, I would definitely think I think you have to build hence a mana boot. You "Quote unquote," figuring out Nick's assassin. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, yeah uh, he must have had that figured out in game two. Yeah, yeah, that must in, have been a pro level play. Yeah, so, absolutely. so Jared, are you using this to initiate, or are you using this uh, in the middle of a fight? Like, how are you? How do you go about using this? I think that ability is going to be your initiate ability, unless you're in vendetta. In vendetta yeah, um, his ultimate form. Yeah, you have to attack before. You can impale to get the okay. best to get out the of bonus Vendetta. damage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But yeah. So I that's think... a good team fight ability. Impale Absolutely. Is. Yeah. Okay. All right. His W is mana burn. Uh, let's see here. Mana burn does magical damage, destroys the target hero's mana equal to a multiplier of its intelligence, and da- deals damage equal to the mana burned. Cast range is six hundred. Mana burned per intelligence is. F- uh, 3.5 at level 1, all the way up to 5 at level 4. Mana burned as damage is 100%. Cooldown is 28 at level 1. At level 4, it's 4 seconds. Yeah. Oh. This is this is great. And the reason that I was kind of talking about um, him being a counter to high intelligence base heroes... Yeah. Well, it's this, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, anybody that has a high starting intelligence or a great intelligence gain or stacks intelligence items, so you're talking like a silencer, an OD, anything like that. Intelligence-based supports. Absolutely. Sure. Next yeah. assassin eats them alive. <laughs> Absolutely. Jeez. This is... I was I was playing mid lane against an OD. Yeah. And I solo killed him three times oh, with yeah. this. Okay. It was nuts. Yeah. Let so me, good. Can I ask you about this ability? Yeah. Where does... How does the fusel blade work with this? Is it like you'd never even imagine it, or it makes it mm. even stronger? Do we even know? Yeah, I don't know. Um, hadn't thought about that just because. Is it redundant? It seems like it could be, or it could just be what you're good at is even better now. Yeah, I mean he isn't. He is agility base, right? So it would make sense for him if your team needs one. Mm-hmm. I think then he he would be a decent carrier okay. for sure. I think he would take advantage of it. So team um, comp base, I think, maybe? I think it could be nice because uh, you're not burning away the entire mana pool. Right, exactly. And, I mean, it depends on who you're playing. If you're playing like yeah. a, a Wraith King or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Does he write, Does Nyx Assassin, do you right-click a lot with him, though? Not a ton. So it might not make as may much sense. It may not be a good item for him. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, if something that nobody maybe, else on your team has something one. Something to look into? I don't we'll, know. We'll yeah. put it under situational. Yeah. 
File it down under situational. Right. I'd like you to try that. And filed tell me how it filed goes. down. Okay, his E is spiked carapace. Carapace. When activated, spiked carapace reflects and negates damage dealt to Nyx Assassin, max once from each source, as well as stunning the source of the damage. So this does pure damage. The damage reflected is 100%. Carapace duration is 2.25. Stun duration is 0.6 at level 1. At level 4, 2.4 seconds. So in theory, you could stun somebody for so the, five seconds or so between those two stuns. If they hit you and then... Oh, between impale and spiked carapace? Yeah, if yeah. they hit you and then... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's nice. This is something that you have to activate, right? Like blade this mail? Is correct. Yes. Yeah. Exactly like that. So this is... But, but it's only one instance of damage, right? It's only one instance of damage per source, but it's a 100% block of that one damage. Oh, so it so okay, let's say I'm lion. I use my ultimate on you. It reflects that back. Yep. And it, stuns you. But that's, that's pretty unreal. That's one but that's the only damage from lion for the duration, yep. right? So, well, you is, can is still the source, reflect damage is the source from other the people. hero or the ability. It's the hero. It's I'm the pretty hero. sure. Okay. okay. So you're still reflecting damage from other heroes though. Yes. That. Okay. That's a pretty big That's a, nice. He must be a great initiator. Found on Dota 2 Wiki, 2.5 health regen per second. Base. Nice. That's Nailed pretty, it. That's pretty really high. good. Nailed it. That's really good. Suck it, boys. I don't know. We, we, I'll pass. I don't think we were ever putting that up to debate. I did, but just to be a jerk. <laughs> That's right. Ben's our resident uh, curmudgeon and uh, contrarian. Correct. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, his ultimate is Vendetta. Allows Nyx Assassin to become invisible and gain a speed bonus. If Nyx Assassin attacks to break the invisibility, massive bonus damage is dealt with the attack, mm -hmm. which is his right click. You have to it, right click. I'm fairly confident that that is the case. Yes. <laughs> the fade time. The Just fade, put that out there. Uh, yeah. My confidence lessened when you worded it that way, but that's okay. Fade time is zero. That's what I got. Yeah. This, now, this is that's awesome. Pretty, that's pretty amazing. This is physical bonus, physical damage. Bonus. Yes, this is physical damage, but... The fade time thing. Yeah. I tell you what, this is great because if you're getting attacked and everything, and that's up, you can use it, and does if it, they don't have any detection... Does it disjoint projectiles? I believe so. Again, we're not sure. I'm not entirely sure, Okay. but I'm fairly confident it will. Okay. Uh, fade time is zero. Damage is 250, 400, and 550 at max level. Mm -hmm. Move speed bonus is 16, 18, and 20%. Duration is 20, 35, and 50 seconds. Right, and the cooldown is 70, 60, and 50 at max level. So it's pretty good. at level 16, you can be in vendetta form. Constantly, right? Constantly. I mean, obviously, unless you use it. Mana cost is 260. <laughs> <laughs> right, but I'm saying, you know... I gotcha. Yeah, You're you fine. can always be in vendetta form until you use it. Right. Ooh, the the attack out of Vendetta cannot be evaded. Correct, yeah. So if you have somebody like a PA or somebody with a butterfly, it yeah. doesn't matter. That's yeah. nice. Uh, okay, all right. Let's move on to recommended items for Nyx Assassin. Yeah. Uh, any, any suggestions there, Jared? Uh, what I've done is Mana Boot. Are we talking core items here? Mm -hmm. Okay, core items, Mana Boot. So I, start, I started... Um, obviously, with your with your pretty normal stuff, you know your tangos, tangos, branches, salves, mm -hmm. boots, urn. Who cares yep. about that stuff? Do you so do yeah. urn, give us is the urn meat. good on him? I like urn just because you're okay. getting a lot of pickoffs. Yeah. So I felt like it made sense. It's going to give you you know that extra health. Yeah. It's going to give you a little bit of mana regen as well because that's a little bit of a problem. Probably yeah. can finish some people off if they run. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean anything that's going to help with the burst and be able to keep you out of the fountain and around the map. Yeah. It's good. So, like, um, would you go, like, Clarity? Would Clarity be good on him? I mean, probably. To start out with? Yeah. Uh, okay. If you have 50 extra gold, they, if you're debating between a branch and Clarity, yeah, I'd probably go Clarity on him. Okay. But, yeah. Um, so, core items. Let's talk about core items here. Obviously, uh, Mana Boot. As mana Boot and, and Urn, I think, are the two that I built right away. Okay. Uh, into a Dagon. Dagon. Okay. Keep Why on, the hell not? Yeah, nuke him. So, I mean, honestly, it just it really helps you do that burst damage right away. Yeah. It's going to give you a bigger, you know, mana pool. Yeah. Because it has that high intelligence items in it. Yeah. And yeah. So just... you're so you're building Dagon. How uh let's talk about how how do you play Nyx Assassin? You obviously play him as a ganker. Like what mm -hmm. what does that look like for you? Uh once you hit level 6, you just kind of um at that point take a 
an idea of where the map is, um, you're, where the heroes on the other team are, is what I'm saying. Yeah. And uh, basically, you're just kind of trying to see if you can find somebody out of position, okay. see if you can take advantage of every, anything, um, and then you just kind of go into vendetta form, run up to them, and hopefully that you can uh, either finish them off or take them out. So here's my concern, based yeah. on what you've said so far. Sure. Is he a hero that you simply counter with dust and and wards, and then he's no longer a factor? You get a gem or something, and and he's not necessarily. Not gonna, I mean, you're still going to he brings that. enough to the table to, uh, to kind of get outside of that a little bit. Absolutely. I mean, with with the spike carapace, I mean, you're if if you see that you're going to be attacked, you can pop that right away. Okay. You can then stun them, vendetta quick, hit them with that, impale them. Dagon, you still killed him, yeah, even though they saw good, you. That's a good point. I mean, okay. so I, it, so it maybe not as much a liability for him as some other heroes that right. can shut down that exactly. way. Exactly. Like Bounty Hunter, when you have dust and sentries, he loses a lot of his... He does. I mean, what he happens, just basically becomes a mobile bank. Yeah. Here's my question. What happens if you're in Vendetta form and you get dusted? Mm-hmm. Do you still get that bonus damage? I think so. Okay. I think you obviously would lose the move speed. Yeah, because dust gives you a minus move speed, but right. Okay, that's an interesting one. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I would think you would. I would think you would as well. Yeah, I don't think it would take you out of vendetta. It just mm-hmm. reveals you. Right. right. Yeah. You just have the well because the I'm pretty sure I got off. a vendetta hit underneath a tower, which gives you true sight. Right. The tower. Yeah. The tower does that. Yeah. Add, add that on the three other questions we weren't entirely sure on that people <laughs> can correct us on later. Yeah. Fairly yeah. confident. Okay. Cool. Uh, you, how many? Of, okay, here's my yeah. next question. How okay. many of the four things we've talked about that you're fairly confident in, or do you think that we'll get corrected on? One. Okay, that's wow. good odds. You did that's pretty com- well then. That's confident. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, again, fairly confident would be about seventy five percent, right? Yeah. Well, I didn't. I, that's, I guess yeah. that's what I wanted to know. Yeah, so I'm yeah. fairly confident that I got at least three of the four fairly confident. So right. And I guess we'll find out. I have. I have a. Uh, I have a Dota two mechanics question for you too. Okay. So if you're doing Nyx Assassin, this is dangerous. Um, <laughs> it's going you, well so far. Do you run him in a dual lane with somebody else until he hits level six, and then he starts roaming? Or like, what do you? I think you could. What do you do, what do, you do with him? You could, but I, I think getting him to an early level six, getting him solo experience, would be more beneficial. So it sounds like you're going to rotate him out of a but, solo mid, but if or you a possibly, or a solo off lane. But if you thing, leave yeah. lane, then like. Yeah, you rotate somebody into that lane. Yeah, okay. you because I was going yeah, to say that's just you're just giving free farmers. I don't something. think you okay. would do that. I, I think mean, unless that lane is terrible and you're going against something and you want to sacrifice the lane entirely, yeah. then yes. But it could be great for like a semi carry, like a Marana or something, to hop into his lane. It right. seems like you'd run some heroes that could work really well with it. Need yeah. some farm, but yeah, exactly, hmm, aren't going to live and die by it. So you'd want to be careful about who you lane him with. Yeah. Well, I think not necessarily who you lane him with, but who else you have on your team. I think you want right. to make sure that you have somebody on your team who can take advantage of right. that rotation that's inevitable. I can see that working well with like a tri lane, and then having sure. that kind of second support in the tri lane, who's or like, like a Jakiro stacking a point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. someone who can. Yeah, a Jakiro tri lane that you start off yeah. with a tri lane, try to get an advantage and then rotate him up to the yeah, the it, off lane or whatever. Assuming the tri lane goes well. Yeah, or if it doesn't, then it doesn't matter because you're going to be getting right. You haven't lost lane. nearly as yeah, much. Yeah. Exactly. So, mm. I, I, well, you're impressing me so far with Nyx. I think I'm on board. I, I'm fairly confident that I've got him down. And yeah. you have really <laughs> strange hats for Nyx. That's the other thing I love Your about set this hero. Is really weird. Yes, sure. there's hats. there's some weird, you look weird, like a, weird hats. Because normally, like he with, looks like a robot. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> uh, normally, with the heroes, like there's a certain palette that you stick towards. Like that Valve is real that, picky about yeah, going exactly. outside of that too. Exactly. Often. So like, um, like Nature's Prophet has that one set where everybody's like, "This is kind of weird." Where the giant mushroom head. Yeah. It's a yeah. little too out there. It's a little weird. Or the Ursa, the Alpine set or whatever, where he <laughs> right, right. puts on the cowboy hat. Right, but that's so not weird. even you can't get you can't buy that one anymore. Yeah, because it was so strange. Too controversial yeah, exactly. for Valve. But Valve, Valve is totally different than Riot because Riot is all about the weird. Yeah, type for of, sure. Yeah, but yeah, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, so Nyx is I think kind of in the special place where he has like purple, blue, yellow, red. At least like with gold, color. colors yeah. get out there. A little yeah, bit, yeah, it's it's a little weird. So. I kind of mix and matched uh, some hats and made them look as weird as possible. I think that's the whole point of hats, right? I like, yeah, I think that's great. Who needs a set when you can mix and match? Absolutely. 
I agree. So yeah, got to make them look as weird as possible, man. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I think so. You want them to stand out. Like, what the heck is that guy wearing? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Why? Where? Why do you? Why do you want to get hats and cosmetic items that look very similar to the old ones? Right. Yeah. yeah. What's the point? No, I agree. Well, I think. Uh, do we have any more items to talk about? Or are we good with that? I think we're good. Uh, let's move on to recommendations. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'd like to hear what Jared thinks first. That's obvious. That's I like why. him. Yeah, yeah, recommend I recommend. Him. Yeah. yeah, I think I think he's a pretty easy hero to kind of get the idea of, and he's fairly easy to execute. Mm-hmm. So you just have to be careful that you're not just roaming the whole time. Yeah, if your team needs you to team fight, team fight. Roaming can be a good thing or a bad thing. It has to be done well. Yeah, and smart. it can be a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Correct. So, I think you've got me convinced. I think right. uh, based on your play. In those two games or so that I played with you, and then based on what you've told me about him, I'm, I'm going to go with recommend. Yeah. I recommend if you have the right person to play him. Uh, yeah. For example, okay. I would never, ever want to play Nyx. Interesting. Why not? Why would you not want to play Nyx? I'm just not good at ganking heroes. Okay. I'm really bad at it. Right. And I definitely had more than a couple times where I got way too aggressive and dove. Yeah. Yeah. Which, it's all right, though. <laughs> you did dive and you did have. You do you uh I mean that's just your personality in general. Like yeah. you're pretty aggressive and when you're yeah, when you're successful with your dives, it's really awesome and really helps out a lot. But then it you know, it's that high risk, high reward right. type play. No, that's true. Um so yeah, I guess I think you mostly break even though. Yeah, normally I, I gotta kill. <laughs> yeah. It's going well with your next play. I mean Yeah, so yeah, yeah so I kind that's of what it is. I kind of recommend. Yeah. Mostly it's, recommend. It's not for everyone. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. Any yeah. Stevie Nicks jokes for us or no? Um, <laughs> I haven't got anything offhand. Just checking. She's a goat. She's a goat. <laughs> More South Park references. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what is, what's that <laughs> one from? Uh, when they went to Afghanistan. She was actually a goat. Yeah, she oh, was I a goat. I don't remember that. And the USO that. show. I don't remember that. Yeah, it was... Uh, is that like season two? Season one? It's an early one. It's pretty early. Yeah. I gotta it's watch not, that. It's not that. It's like three or four, I think. Yeah, I think it's four or five, okay. possibly. I think it's five. Okay. I feel pretty good about that. All right. <laughs> let's move on to the item <laughs> fairly, of the week. Fairly confident. I'm not as confident on fairly that Fairly confident. Jared has, somewhat confident. Jared has two giftings, South Park and Dota 2. I am off I am off my South Park yeah. where I was at one point. You were pretty high. It was impressive. South Park, yeah. 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 You're, yeah. Uh, okay, item of the week is Blade Mail. Blade Mail. Blade Mail. It costs twenty two hundred dollars. It gives coin. plus three intelligence, plus twenty two damage, plus six armor. It's made from a broadsword, a chainmail, and a robe of the Magi. Mm-hmm. It has the ability damage return. Returns any damage you take to the unit that dealt the damage. Lasts mm-hmm. four point five seconds. Uh, damage returned is a hundred percent. Lasts four point five seconds. The cooldown is seventeen seconds. Mana cost is 25. Well, that's nice. Uh, the damage return does not go through BKB. Okay. Returns the damage after reductions as pure damage. Okay. So, so that's stupid. Really, that doesn't make any sense. So if you have sense. like a... Well, is it after your... Yeah. So like if oh, I'm... That's oh, why it's different. Oh, oh, so it's, oh, oh, it's oh, okay. Gotcha, 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 yeah. gotcha, 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 yeah. gotcha, gotcha. So if I'm, you know, if I'm Axe and I have a Hood of Defiance on and... Uh, you get- Lena casts Dragon Slave on me. After my magic damage reductions, it returns that damage back to Lena. That makes more sense. Okay. Do you yeah. take the damage? Here's what I don't yes. understand about yes. Blade Mail. You still yes. do, don't you? Still you do, still yes. do, but it's returned at 100%. Right. So and it's, it's pure damage, which is a big deal. You're a trade-off there. Yeah, so everything that you're taking, the, the sender is taking Well, it sounds well. like to the hit point, really, right? Based on yeah. how that's it's being It's pure described. damage, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So every hit point that you lose... It's going to be exactly a one-for-one one hit point yeah, change. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. For 4.5 seconds. That's pretty good. So buy BKB. Yeah. Well, well, that's not really where I would take that one, but... Yeah. Oh, I would. Don't don't hit the depending, guy. Depending on what it is. I was going to say, just don't hit the yeah. guy that has blade mail. That's up. true. Or stun him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I think it's the time of the show where we're going to bring in Cheeks. I we believe he's... He, he did not want to talk about Blade Mail at all. <laughs> yeah, seriously. He just <laughs> kind of glossed over it. I mean, that's... Well, do you get, uh, what do you guys want to talk about? Well, who do, who do you buy it on? Yeah, who do you oh, buy yeah, it on? Do we recommend it? Do we yeah. not recommend it? You, like, just glossed right <laughs> yeah, over Blade I've, Mail. You're like, oh, Cheeks is here. We got to talk to him. Oh, God. We still have to talk about the item, Brian. I forgot about that. God, yeah. Gosh, what was going on there? So, well, so who do you recommend you buy it on, Brian? I don't know. Axe I would say Axe uh, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. of that. Oh, my pop filter is getting weird here. Because of his uh, 
Counter it, Helix. Well, yeah. Basically, anybody that's in what are you doing? It, going to be <laughs> taking a bunch of damage. So Something's you, going on with my pop filter. Do you not like Blade Mail? Just be honest. Do you have something <laughs> against Blade Mail? I don't think I've ever bought it. To be honest, okay. So with you me. hate Blade Mail. Just be honest about Whoa, how you feel. Oh, you're you're kind of extrapolating a you're, bit here. Ben. I am reading into what you're doing. Yeah, which is not I think paying it's, attention to this. I think it's fine. Uh, you buy it on Axe. Centaur? Do you buy it on Centaur? Yeah, you could. could. Yeah, you could. Okay. But I think it's a little redundant with his return. That's true. Um, What do you think, Jared? Clockwork, I think, is an obvious choice. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh. We should get you on Clockwork. How about Legion Commander? Legion Commander is another one that I really like it on. Yeah. You pop it before you go in for the duel. There you go. Seems like a no-brainer to me. Seems like a no-brainer. Yeah. Kyle, if you're listening, buy Blade Mail. I've, I've told him. Okay. Has he bought it? Some when when I play with him. Oh, how would work. it work on a PA? The, are the things that are dodged probably not returned? They're, Correct. They're yeah. not. So it would make no sense, I think, on a PA. That's what I would think too. Um, Good work, Ben. Yeah. We but got yeah. to the bottom of that one. Basically, anybody that's going to be in the heat of the battle, take tanking a lot. Yeah. Um, I think it's a decent choice on yeah. anybody that has mana problems too. It's going to help out a little bit. I would. I think I would yeah. like this. On, uh, there. If mm-hmm. you go for more of a tanky build on Viper, I think I would be great on Viper. I've never seen a Viper run it. I don't know. He already has a little bit. Of, yeah, know. corrosive skin or whatever, right? Yeah, I don't know. He ha- he has that reduction, doesn't he? Mm, corrosive I don't skin. Think so. It just reflects. You take damage if you damage Viper, right? So okay. I think it's a little redundant, but maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel know. like there'd be better options. Okay. All right. All right. No, I hear you guys. Yeah, I understand I your hate for All blade right. mail, man. No, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Apparently, I hate. Well, he blade was actually mail he was trying to love blade mail yeah. and bit him back. He didn't did, like it. Yeah. Do we recommend <laughs> items? I don't remember if we do. We blade do. mail bladed me. I always try to. He always tries to not do. do it. I, I don't remember. Should. Do we recommend we items? We do. We do. <laughs> okay. I think we remember to not remember. Okay. Uh, ben, what do you what do you think? I'm gonna say recommend on a tanky hero. Okay. Jared, I like it on some. I think it makes sense yeah. on a, on certain heroes where it makes sense. Always buy it. It's like you, you'd like almost clockwork. have to buy it on axe or yeah. clockwork. I think it would be a yeah. good one. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if it's if you're getting it too late, it doesn't really. Yeah. I think the right. earlier you get it, it, it can make yeah. yeah yeah more difference before BKBs stuff like that. I'm gonna say do not recommend only because wow. <laughs> yeah. only because I, I think I, we all knew that you're you contrarian. Yeah, you yeah. don't no, like only now. because if I said recommend, you guys would tell me otherwise. Well, you, you would say no. You actually don't recommend it. Well, Brian. you don't like it. Yeah, I can tell you don't. You like hate it. it. See exactly. Yeah, Brian, you're such a contrarian. Just buy a BKB. Do you want to like it? I don't even feel like you want to like it. I think you hipster like yeah, it. Yeah, most things you like, you at least want to <laughs> like. You feel bad about not liking it. Blade Mail, I think you're just like, go in the crap or Blade Mail. I hate you. I like the icon for it. Yeah, he doesn't like Blade Mail at all. He <laughs> hates it. It's I think his, so. He's having a hard time. All right, honest. can we bring Cheeks in? Fine, whatever. Let's bring sure. in Cheeks. Play the thing. Give a bumper for that. Play the thing. Whoa, it's not playing. Here we go. You got to actually highlight the thing you're clicking. It is highlighted. Here we go. Come on, Brian. How's it going, Cheeks? It's Whoa! Uh, the Whoa, hold on. Out. Wait wait a second. Wait a second. We don't have you. Oh, crap. Wait I'm a second. Screwing the, I'm screwing this up. This hold is on. why we do sound checks. To be fair, Cheeks wasn't here for the sound check. Well, so, so let's, we'll, we can, we'll let him summarize what happened, but the good news is he's okay. The bad news is Brian is not set up well for having Cheeks on the <laughs> there show. There we go. Hey, no, there you're, we got you. are set up. We Cheeks, got you. Cheeks, you're back. Yeah, you, you sound, sound pretty great. bad, but you're here. No, don't don't tweak anything because we're live. <laughs> Why? Oh, that is that is. But are, are you okay? <laughs> Yeah. Did did you get cold? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. You don't sleep it off. Oh, good. Okay. Good. Yeah. Then that reminds me when we were at your house, when oh, the, the water was shot off. A bulldozer came down the road or something. That's crazy. I thought it was a tank. Yeah, it was insane. But I think it was a bulldozer. It was a bulldozer. Yeah. Cheeks, uh, do you not have an emergency podcasting generator? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You would think so, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. No, I wouldn't think so. No. Yeah. So wait, do you have to mail your rent checks to Canada? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Seems convenient. So what's going on in the chat room today? Damn right. Stevie Nicks Assassin. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's okay. going to be a yeah. uh, an immortal an immortal item. Uh, it's going to be an Arcana item for Nick's Assassin. Yeah, the Stevie the, uh, Nick's Assassin with the next WLDL tournament. It's it's really not. He does, yeah. <laughs> I like. I'll idea. see what I can do. Yeah. I like that idea a lot. I I like that idea a lot. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, th that's kind of an apples to oranges type comparison, in my opinion. Sark is a carry that happens to gank. Yeah. yeah. Nix is a ganker that cannot carry. Right. right. <laughs> All right. Problem solved. But can initiate really well. He can. Okay. And, and Slark is weird. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I can't imagine Bunny being a jerk to anyone. No, he's a nice guy. As opposed to Ben, who who unlovingly antagonizes. Yeah. There's there's <laughs> love there. It's, yeah, that's true, but sometimes you can't always get to the side shop. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, it depends on who the lane is. Yeah. With that said, I never buy one at the beginning. Yeah. I think it makes sense depending on what you're doing and what, yeah. you know. If you have a, it's somebody in a... Yeah. Yeah, no, that's true. We're losing all lanes. We need to rotate <laughs> everyone. We need to respond to everything ever. <laughs> so, Cheeks, so at the top of the show, initially when we thought you would be here, we planned on talking about our New Year's resolutions involving Dota 2. And so I'll, get, I'll give you a second to think about that. And, and while you do that, I'll ask Jared and Brian and, and I can talk about what we had planned for that. So, it's, is it, it, well, it's a little bit different than that. I don't know where to put it. I was going to do this and then do the... Oh, it oh. is. Oh, oh wow. Okay. okay. Whoa, we'll you were prepared. This let's, is why we bring you on. Let's hit that bumper. I'm sure there's a bumper. Wait. Oh, wait. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Y yep. Mm-hmm. What? Wait for it. Wait for it. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Boy, Brian, do I have That's going to get me every time. So yeah, we did have a bumper for that. Great. Thanks for that, Cheeks. Yeah, Obvi for obviously, bumper. Ben did not listen to the episode last week because we talked, about, we talked about how we were going to do that from... from uh, yeah. I like the bumpers, by the way. Were those, those were by you, correct? Okay. 
Well, good job. They're they're 100 or maybe even a thousand times better than anything Brian has chosen to play on the show. I also agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> I do need to bring on the legendary pro cons. Uh, pro oh cons yeah, bumper. that one's awful. That one's so good. <laughs> maybe we'll do a pro cons segment at some point. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> oh. Ugh, I, oh, cool. I, I love it. that game. It's so good. Am I allowed to enter to win this? No. <laughs> I figured not. No, that's uh, I'm, I'm going to veto that. That's one of my favorite games. Of did that come out in 2013? I believe it did. I think it was relatively recent. That's one of my favorite games of recent times. Well, I I wish whoever I hope whoever wins it plays it because I would like to win it and I can't. Veto, veto. It should be vetoed. Correct. Great. So Buckler being normal and Yule's being super overpowered, which I think, I think it is. I think currently. that's what he's going with. What All were right. the item choices again? What's more? Oh, easy. Uh, Observer wards, Yule scepter. I give Observer wards a Yule scepter Why? rating. Can you give a reason? Why? Uh, because you win the game with them. I would say that you more win the game with TPs. I think TPs are. The, the wards are... We have talked about this in recent times. Yeah, I think yeah. TPs are... They're, they're great to respond to things. They're great to... I think moving around the map and having that much... I think Having efficiency. That gives you more map control and efficiency than the wards do. Now, let's look at this at a different light. Please. If we were to ha not have one of the three items, which do you think would have the biggest game impact? You're going to pick boots. Oh, I'm going to pick boots. Boy. We're going to pick boots. I'm yeah. picking boots. Because I think the chase ability of that... Luna would be so good. Enchantress would yeah, be Luna so good. Yeah, Luna Enchantress would, would be great. So I think, I think honestly, of the three items, I think the most critical to play a game well are boots. I think you're right. I'm going to change mine to yours. You convinced me. I, Damn I'm, right. I'm wrong and you're right. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, uh, Wards was the worst choice, right? Yeah, that is the most obvious. Oh, you guys answer. get out of here. Wards are great. <laughs> Wards are great. How else but are you going to spot the, that level the three, one? It's Ursa the worst Roshan choice. Strat. It's definitely the worst choice. Of the three options, I though I think it is the least full of high it. on the priority list. You're telling me that you think you'd win a game more likely with having never buying no boots, boots if yes, you had options. Because oh, people, whatever. Yes, because people don't Come on, you are right. such full of crap. Hold on. People don't carry T P scrolls or observer wards anyway. And they still win games. No, they don't. Occasionally yeah, they, do. they lose so hard. Oh my no, god. I disagree with you completely. I'd like to see people not buy we boots. Could, we could win goes. we could win a game. Without buying, we should do this for science. We yeah, should try. I'm okay with this. We should try and do this without all three. Items. Five, five. Yeah. Well, five, <laughs> how does that make any sense? <laughs> We'd lose we'll, really bad. We'll do five games with each thing. So we'll do five games with no boots. Okay. Five. No, games. we won't. Yeah, this is a horrible <laughs> yeah. idea. We will play at maximum one game without boots. <laughs> well, I, I, I agree because I'll we'll play Broodmother. Well, I think we only need, all we need to do is play one game without boots, and Brian will be convinced. And here's the thing: not buying boots. With that in mind, changes who you would pick so much more. Hundred percent, yes. Because it changes, you're not going to pick it's Crystal Maiden. So much more important. You're yeah, right. I, it's the boots. You would buy Yulsa. Wards, though. wards, wards are so oh. important. Are you kidding me? Not. It's not. I don't disagree. Important. I don't disagree. Boots wards are important, yeah. but I think boots are more important than. There's wards. spots on the map that were specifically designed. They got little icons for the wards. You don't have that for boots because B scrolls. Think they're harder. Think about this, use, Brian. Yeah. Think about this, Brian. Every game, every hero has boots. Every game. Every well, yes, that's every true. game. Not I'll give you that. TPs. Every game, every yeah. hero has TP scrolls. One hundred percent of the time. No, no, no. Yes, they um, should, but they don't. Unless you're bad. We are. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. A hundred percent of games won. Every hero's had boots. All right. I think that's. True. I can't. I can't argue with you on that one. Because you're wrong. It's it's boots. It's got to be. It's got to be boots. All right. I, I'm not conceding victory here. But you're thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> All right. I think we have an answer that Brian it's, it's, is okay with. It's boots. <laughs> 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 
It's a very heated debate. <laughs> we lost Cheeks. Cheeks, out of that. did your power oh, yeah. go out? No, you're still there. <laughs> Uh, that is a concern. Oh no! I I can confirm. I can confirm it is being recorded. It's getting recorded. It's just not going in the stream. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Well, we'll always we can always <laughs> add great. you. We'll add you in post. Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll we'll get you in post. Jared does a does a great cheeks impression. So. Okay, that should be better. In two minutes, the chat room will hear you. Yeah, two minutes, they'll know. <laughs> okay. We Throw are, some salt on it. We'll be fine. We are Dota 2's best scam. <laughs> well, we can hear your questions, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, And Cheeks is the one with the best win record. No, he doesn't. Yeah, yeah, huh? Yeah. This year. That's right, Ben. Oh, this year he does. This year he does. That's right, Ben. That's right. What else do you have for us? That's ter- That's terrible. I'm glad that Sir Charles watches this show. I hope it is. And gambling. He likes to gamble. Uh, I know Eternal Envy loves it. Okay. Here's <laughs> um, there are certain heroes I think it makes sense on. Yeah. What are those heroes? Mostly intelligence base. It's gonna give you and if you're going against a lane that you're gonna be getting right clicks in. It makes sense. Because that you're gonna be getting right clicks? What do you mean? Yeah, you're gonna be getting a lot of right click harassed. You're getting harassed, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um because you're gonna get six armor from this. It's four hundred right. gold. For six armor. That's really good. That's it's a lot of armor. Yeah. It's like twenty nine point seven percent damage reduction with six armor. It's really good. So you're taking over a stout shield less damage. It's basically like getting a stout shield, except like better. instead of being twenty percent, it's almost thirty percent. So yeah. you're gonna build one of them into a ring and then the other one you're just gonna sell off. Probably. You could either sell it off or go into tranquil boots. I mean, whatever you want to do. Or you could build into Tranquil Boots and then sell the other one for 100 gold. Either way, I think you're going to be getting that yeah. value out of it. Tell me the heroes you want it on. That's what I want to know. Well, you see it on... I uh, think it depends on the lane. Well, yeah. yeah. Obviously. Obviously. Necrolite and Lena are the two that I've seen it popular on. So mostly intelligence heroes, you said? Yeah. It's heroes that are going to have low HP heroes. Get it in the off lane. Yeah. Um, but basically... Get it on Disruptor. So you're, you're getting it... <laughs> Yeah, if if you're if you're um, a supporter, probably won't make sense. So you would say the, argu- the argument is, is get it if you feel like you need it, but there's a fine line there that if you're not going to get enough harass, it's best spent something on something else. Yes, right? is absolutely. That what it is? I think so. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is if you're going to be going in a lane where you're going to be harassed a lot. So who do you want it against? Maybe that's the better question. Who are the lanes that you're like I should really do double? You know. Yeah. Um. Any sort of ranged. Um, harass that you're going to be yeah, so like sniper. Crystal Maiden, sniper. yeah, sniper, yeah. yeah. Um, but any, any time that you think you're going to be harassed a lot, okay. So, or you want to be aggressive and know that you are then going to be taking a lot of harass, right? Okay. It doesn't it doesn't handicap you for too long. No. So I think that's maybe the the bonus. It's two thirds of your starting gold. Yeah, but it's it doesn't seem like it'd slow you down too much. Right. So, I mean, you I still can get... Con- I could be convinced it's a good idea occasionally. And, I mean, you're going to be able to build it into... Most likely, you might get Tranquil Boots or a Ring, like you said. Mm-hmm. So I would think most of the times you're going to use one of those. Yeah. Sell the other one off. But, but still, like I said, I mean, it's... It is three extra armor you have for, I would think, at least 15 minutes or so, maybe. Yeah. 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 It's only 200 gold, man. So, I mean, the value is, the value is there, for sure. Yeah. Brian's distracted. Absolutely. He's paying attention to the chat it's again. The chat room. I love the chat room. You're supposed to stay out of that. That's, That's why Cheeks. Cheeks is here. Yeah, come yeah. on. Cl- minimize that window. All right, what else do you got for us, Cheeks? Yeah, Bunny. I like hey, that guy. Bunny. By the way, I want to plug Bunny's Dota uh, channel on YouTube. His is that YouTube what you guys were talking about the whole time? Uh, no. Okay. He's uh, He's been playing a lot of matches and putting them up on YouTube, so check him out. Yep, Bunny Data. 
funny data, which is great. <laughs> okay. I guess yep, Brian's so, so distracted. Minimize the screen, Brian. You're so distracted. Yes, you Perfect. are. Is that what's is that what's there? That's well, okay. Wow, it's almost like somebody read our mind. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Ben, what are your New Year's resolutions? Do your Dota 2 My New Dota, Year's so, resolutions? Oh, I've got three of them. Whoa! And I actually asked these over, two guys to also come up here. with three of them. I, and I said no. The and best I can do no. is one. I'm not a three. goals-oriented three. person. Well, I, I, picked, I picked two of them for them. So I'm, ask, I'm actually only asking them to come up with one that I didn't pick for them. Because... Two of them are shared ones that we all decided on anyway. Yeah. So. yeah, and one of them I don't share with you guys. And one you don't share with us, ben whatever and I, that means. Ben and so, I do. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. don't share the one with us? Yeah, I'm not going to... It's never going to happen okay. for me. <laughs> okay. So Brian and I at least have decided that our goal is to, to hit 3K MMR. Road to 3K MMR, baby. By the end of the year. So we're, that's, that's going to be our struggle. I think that's going to be pretty hard, to be honest I, It's going to be really tough. I thought yeah. you went too comes. high. Especially for you, because you're two or 300 points lower than I am. And I'm really bad. And you're well. We're both bad, but you've got even further to go yeah. up. So well, I've been bringing you down as good. You as have. Best I, I, can. I dropped 200 yeah. points or something with you. Um, so that's one of them. The second one is if we do another tournament, which I, I think we probably will, uh, sometime in 2015, we would like to win a game. Win a game because we didn't do that the first time around. <laughs> so that's another. In, in the WLDL. Yeah, is that the one? You're, you're probably not on board with the 3K. Yeah, no, yeah. there's no way in hell I'm ever going to make that. <laughs> and then I want to learn a new hero, so I'm going to try to learn Terror Blade. I decided that's one that I think would be kind of fun to learn. So that's my that's Of course, my Ben one. picks the hero that was just recently nerfed pretty hard. Well, who cares? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I, don't didn't, care. I didn't say it was yeah. one that... Yeah, that's great. Yeah, exactly. nerfs, nerfs don't matter at 2K MMR. No, it's at our God, skill no. level, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, That's very true. Uh, Jared, what are yours? Um... I will say I will try to get to 2K. Oh, you're not, okay, 2K, you're okay, not at 2K Jay, yet. You can do better than that. 2K MMR is so doable for you. Oh, that's fine. I would like to support him in whatever his I would have his to wishes. win, let's see, approximately, yeah, it'd only be nine. It's like six matches. It'd be nine for me currently. Nine, you know, Nine-ish. Nine in a row, right? N- well, yeah, nine more than I lose. Right. Which, I for me, hard. might take six months. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I support your 2K MMR. You know, yeah, so no, I think that's, that's realistic. I'm not a person that sets lofty goals that I, I will never okay. reach. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how Brian that's convinced not me. me that this was something I should try to strive for. But I appreciate your honesty and yeah. your, what you're yeah. striving for. That's great. absolutely. Um, likewise, I guess, like you said, we do have the shared um, goal of winning one game. Yeah. We just want one. That's the noobs ask noobs resolution. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's our team one. Yeah. Um, and the third one I couldn't think of myself. I mean, if you want to. Put it out there, a hero that I'm. I want to learn. We'll just go know. in that format. Um, yeah. Who do you want to learn? I'm not sure. Okay. We'll I'm come back sure. to you. All right, Brian. Uh, obviously, the 3K MMR. Uh, are we doing party or solo MMR? Well, I, think I thought party because that's party. higher. Yeah. <laughs> solo. <laughs> yeah. We'll do 3K party MMR because honestly, that's what we care about. Yeah. So solo games are dumb. That's yeah. probably true. And. I really want to learn Lone Druid. He's not in a good spot. Okay. I don't think he's in a bad spot, though. No. I like Either that. Either Lone Druid or Nature's Prophet. Great. Nature's Prophet has been way easier for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I support that. We'll yeah. pick one, though. You, can only, you can't have that many. Lone Druid. Okay. And I think Disruptor would be mine, then. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like that. Oh, yeah. Cheeks, what do you have for us? What are yours? <laughs> okay. Uh, Strim people, you can listen to Cheeks later because he's announcing his right now. I thought they could hear him now. Maybe I, they can't. I guess not. I think I got to restart OBS and I'm no, not don't doing do that. that. Yeah, don't do yeah. that. Go ahead, Cheeks. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But you want to improve even more. Okay. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm okay if you do. 
We, we, we teased me switching to a support earlier today. Not saying it's going to happen, but we talked about it. Yeah. So there may be room for that to, to I don't be think it's a bad idea. I think it's I think you can only get better learning other academic. other things. Yeah. yeah. Maybe 2015 the year of the switch. Wow. Yeah, switch it up, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just go. We'll, we'll have to talk about up. it as a team. <laughs> okay. Just switch it. That's valid. Okay. That's, That's valid. That's valid. Yeah. No. Correct. Right. Right. <laughs> or you're buying Observer Wars. Right. <laughs> also, boots. <laughs> Maybe. Jared, you dropped your phone in the trash can. Yeah. I have feelings. It's, it's fine, though. Oh, boy. Pe- people are now posting Riot. Uh, <laughs> Uh-oh. Riot in Twitch chat. Why are you paying attention to Look, I would chat? have to restart OBS, and look, it's fine. It's fine. What? Do you have any other questions? Was that it? That's good. Yeah. I think it was. H- Happy New Year, everyone. Three-ish, yeah. My uh, my podcast resolution is to get Cheeks in the stream audio for next week. <laughs> that's, my, that's my resolution. Man, shooting high, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, there yeah, we you, go. You get, <laughs> get, get, get Cheeks into the Twitch stream. That's what we, we need. We need microtransactions for the podcast. Yeah, that's a good idea. People would love that. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Nothing. Well, Cheeks, thanks. Yeah, oh yeah. Do that. That couldn't be more ready. Bring it up. We will. Yeah. He's drawing for the thing, guys. He's drawing. Rogue Legacy is the thing. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Folson. You've won a copy of... what? Fawson. Oh, boy. Congratulations, Fawson. This is going horribly. You've won a copy of Rogue Legacy. Nice radio voice. Come on Brian. down. You have to do that in that voice? Yeah. You have to... F- okay, so stay in Twitch chat. Maybe Cheeks, maybe put something in Twitch chat for him to stay there so you can communicate with him. He can't hear you, though. <laughs> well... The, pod, oh, I I the podcast. We're doing the here. outro now. The podcast yeah, this is this is it. Okay. Cheeks, cheeks takes us into the outro. I didn't know that. Things have changed. Not really. We've done this for like four weeks in a row, Ben. <laughs> I've only been here one or two of the four weeks. Okay. All right. Let the man finish, Ben. Yeah. yeah. Maybe show up to the podcast. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> That that one is impossible to add him. By the way, <laughs> how many E's? Yeah. How many K's? Two K's. Two K's. C-C- I have you friended, and I, I still can't E-E- friend you. C C K K S S. Cheeks. Good luck. <laughs> okay. All right. Very Perfect. good. Ben, where can, we find you, where can we find you online, Ben? I'm uh, at Dota Yadneb on Twitter, Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, YouTube, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Classy. Yeah. Jared? Um, you can follow me specifically usually on Dota. Uh, we like Dota Bets. Yeah. Uh, if you're interested in the Dota 2 gambling scene. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to stop plugging my personal one because I never tweet on it. Very good. Yeah, that's sad, though. You yeah, can find me personally whatever. on Twitter at Byinger, B-Y-I-N-G-E-R. Follow We Like Dota on Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, Twitch, and on Patreon. Uh, if Which you go is where to, you give us money. Yes. You can support us, even for a dollar, if you just say, hey, I like, I like you guys and I like what you're doing. Here's a dollar. You yeah. can do that, yeah. A little yeah. bit goes a long way. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, anything else? I think that's it, right, guys? All right. I don't have anything else. Yeah, All right, thanks it. for listening, everybody, and we'll see you next week.